हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी एस सी फोर्स मास्टर सो वेलकम टू फिजिक्स क्लासेज बाय सरबदीप कौर सिद्धू सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर बी एस सी फोर्स मास्टर एंड ऑल्सो फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ प्लस वन प्लस टू सो दैट टॉपिक इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पैटलियर इफेक्ट एंड थॉम्सन इफेक्ट और यू कैन से सम नॉलेज अबाउट पैटलियर इफेक्ट एंड थॉम्सन इफेक्ट so we know that in the previous lecture we have discussed about the thermoelectric effect or you can say that is also called seebeck effect that is also called seebeck effect and uh, seebeck effect is the resultant of peltier effect and thomson effect means seebeck effect is the uh, combination of peltier effect and thomson effect so in this lecture we will discuss uh, about peltier effect and about thomson effect so it is uh, given by peltier that's why it is peltier effect and it is given by uh, thomson that's why it is thomson effect clear thing first then uh, how we can define this effect so first uh, uh, the definition of peltier effect what is peltier effect when current is passed so when current is passed across the junction current is now passed across the junction of two dissimilar metals because thermocouple is made up of two dissimilar metals so when current is passed across the junction of two dissimilar metals there is either absorption or evaluation of heat at the junction in other words the junction either gets cooled or heated up means in the seebeck effect the current is produced we uh, firstly hot and cold the junctions and current is produced now this is the reverse of that effect and in this current is passed first and uh, one junction is heated up and other junction is cooled up clear so this is peltier effect the definition of peltier effect then is thomson effect thomson effect is also like um, peltier effect but in this we used instead of uh, two metals connected in instead here we use a conductor so when here same current is passed but current flows through a conductor when current flows through a conductor here whose two ends are at different temperatures there is a evaluation or absorption of heat all along the length of the conductor all along the length of the conductor means you can say that um, when we unequally heat the uh, conductor then there is a absorption absor absorption or evaluation of heat that is thomson effect when current is passed through a conductor so in this we use conductor in here we use two dissimilar metals clear see now the question arises mm, heat evolved heat evolved means heat produced or absorbed uh, or you can say heating or cooling that is determined by that is determined by which factor that is de uh, determined by the direction of current that is determined by the direction of current so see this in this there one wire is of copper another is of iron clear we joined these two this is uh, we joined these two these are the two junctions one is this and uh, second is this theek okay? hai so now when current flows from when current flows from copper to iron copper to iron copper to iron when current flows from copper to iron then there is a absorption of heat there is a absorption of heat so if there is a absorption of heat means absorption of heat heat consumed so the uh, this junction that's why this is cold junction this is cold clear ji so when copper to iron there is absorption of heat there is a absorption of heat and this junction is a cold junction or here there is a cooling clear and in the reverse case when current flows from when current flows from iron to copper iron to copper then there is a heat produced you can say evaluation of heat or you can say heat produced and when heat is produced so production 
production of heat means production of heat means there is a heating so this junction is hot so this is hot heating is produced so when copper to iron there is absorption clear and this is coal uh, junction and when from iron to copper then there is a production of heat heat produced so this is a hot okay heating is produced that's why we say this this is the inverse of seebeck effect clear thing clear so this is about the journal about the petlier effect now thomson effect now here instead of two wires we used a conductor so suppose this is a conductor and that is of copper that is of copper and <coughs> when we heat this suppose because we unequally heat the conductor so when we heat suppose we heat from this part the center of the this conductor when we heat this conductor then what is this junction is hot junction this is no this um, end become hot if this is hot then this will become cold similarly this will uh, this junction is hot or uh, this end you can say not a junction this is uh, because junction is uh, not here because here only we are using one conductor so this is hot end this is cold end and uh, when current flows from cold to hot end so it also depends upon the direction of current here the heat absorbed or heat evolved when there is a flow of current from cold to hot junction from low temperature not junction from cold and to hot end or you can say from low temperature to high temperature then there is a absorption of heat there is a absorption of heat similarly in this when there is a at this end when there when there is a flow of current from hot this is hot and hot to cold and there is a production of heat or heat evolved or heat evolved clear now in the case of iron this is of copper now in the case of iron conductor clear or ferric sometimes uh, some people say this is iron conductor now what will happen in this <laughs> the same we heat at uh, from the center of the conductor when we heat this from the center then what will happen this end become hot similarly this become hot this is cold this is cold cold now in this there is a reverse in this case then that uh, this case okay then uh, because when a uh, cold to hot there is a heat evolved heat evolved evaluation of heat heat evolved and from hot to cold there is a absorption of heat there is a absorption of heat clear ji so these two are reverse of each other so that's why uh, the metals like copper are ag uh, silver zinc antimony these are just like copper these are just like copper and they have a positive this effect they have positive thomson effect positive thomson effect you can say positive thomson effect clear ji or thomson effect positive you can say with thomson coefficient you can say positive for these metals just like i will tell you what is thomson coefficient so positive thomson coefficients thomson coefficient for these metals i will tell you uh, in the next uh, what is the thomson coefficient okay so remember this that the metals where there is a um, absorption of heat there is a absorption of heat when current is passed there is a absorption of heat when current passed from cold uh, uh, cold and to hot end or from low to high temperature clear there is a absorption of heat then Mm, uh, and evaluation of heat from ho hot to cold then these um, uh, metals have positive thermal uh, thomson coefficients okay and the examples are uh, silver zinc antimony and copper and uh, when um, current pass from lower to hot junction there is a, a evaluation of heat and then 
दैट मेटल्स हैव नेगेटिव टेम्परेचर नेगेटिव थॉमसन कॉफिशेंट नेगेटिव थॉमसन कॉफिशेंट थॉमसन कॉफिशेंट क्लियर जी सो कोल्ड टू हॉट हीट वॉल्ड ठीक है हॉट टू कोल्ड हीट वॉल्ड हेयर सो दीज हैव नेगेटिव टेम्परेचर थॉमसन कॉफिशेंट्स ठीक है जी so uh, this is about positive thomson coefficient and negative thomson coefficient now uh, there is a metal that is lead lead is a metal pb uh, where the there is no uh, valuation or absorption of heat when current is passed through it then that no Uh, production of heat no absorption of heat in the case of lead so they uh, this metal have zero thomson coefficient zero thomson coefficient sometimes question will come in exams uh, which metal have zero thomson coefficient theek hai ji then in that which conductor you can say that is a lead theek hai ji then next that is very very important about these effects that is what is the cause of these effects what is the cause of uh, these effect that is the petlier effect and uh, thomson effect so main cause uh, may be similar in both cases uh, contact potential contact potential means that depend upon electron density that depends upon electron density or also we write uh, the cause is electron density gradient theek hai sometimes we write uh electron density and now electron density uh will be different will be different uh, uh due to uh, this uh, because electron density for this wire that will be different for this that will be different because uh, say here is higher electron density here is low here is high here is low so electron density will be different in both the um, uh, metals theek hai clear somewhere it is low somewhere it is high clear ji so electron in this way we can say that electron density at the junction junction one junction is this second junction is this that will be different because we say here is high here is low theek hai then here is uh, here is high here is low here is high here is low so the current or uh, will flow from higher to lower somewhere from lower to higher so there will be a potential um, difference or contact potential theek hai ji so ek jada cause hai that depends upon the electron density clear ji second uh, it also depend upon the electric field electric field because we apply a potential here then when we apply a battery here theek hai then there is a flow of current clear and uh, there will be uh, due to electric field current will pass clear so electron uh, Uh, you can say ki when there is a different um, electron density then sometimes uh, uh, for example in this case copper and iron for example here is high potential here is high potential here is lower potential theek hai i write higher potential plus and lower potential minus i am just uh, symbolically writing theek hai you can write high potential and here is low potential high potential low potential so and uh, similarly here when a uh, current pass from higher potential to lower potential from higher to lower higher to lower lower current jado pass karega then heat will evolved higher to lower higher to lower potential theek hai करंट या डेंसिटी यू कैन से डेंसिटी भी कह सकते इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी करंट पास करता जरा हायर टू लोअर दैन हीट की होएगी हीट इवॉल्ड हीट की होएगी इवॉल्ड हायर टू लोअर एंड व्हेन लोअर टू हायर व्हेन लोअर टू हायर पोटेंशियल करंट पास करेगा देन लोअर टू हायर मींस लोअर टू हायर मींस एनर्जी इज रिक्वायर्ड energy is required when energy is required which is here is a fir absorption so here is a uh, heat absorbed heat absorbed theek hai ji so heat absorb ho rahi hai then this junction it cools so this is here is a cooling so heat means there is a cooling and here is a heating 
क्लियर जी सो दैट्स वाई हीट इवॉल्ड और एब्जॉर्ब डिपेंड्स अपॉन डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ करंट सो वेन फ्रॉम हायर टू लोअर हीट इवॉल्ड फ्रॉम लोअर टू हायर हीट एब्जॉर्ब cooling here heating so we can say that the cause of petlier effect electron density theek hai ji electric field clear heat evolved depend upon the direction of flow of the current theek hai electron density we write here also electron density gradient at the junction theek hai electron density gradient you can also put gradient at the junction theek hai clear ji same in the case of thomson effect now in thomson effect we heat uh, the here we are heating at the center when we heat this what will happen here due to heating electron will move towards this side here will be lower density lower density theek hai here higher density here higher density clear ji same way heat evolved and heat so this is hot this is cold this is um then again hot this is cold so that depends upon different metals in the case of copper here here is heat absorbed here is heat evolved so in the same way here uh, there is a uh, evolution or uh, absorption of heat in the case of thomson effect clear so we can say that in the thomson effect jo density of free electrons the in a conductor that depends upon the temperature so potential gradient is developed is developed in the uh, in a conductor maintained maintained at a temperature gradient you can say okay so when there is a flow of density of free electrons that density depends upon the temperature so due to that temperature there is a potential gradient ठीक है सो वेन करंट फ्लोज फ्रॉम सच अ कंडक्टर सच अ कंडक्टर हीट इज एब्जॉर्ब इफ करंट फ्लोज फ्रॉम लोअर पोटेंशियल टू हायर पोटेंशियल बिकॉज हेयर इज लोअर और हायर लोअर टू हायर हीट इज एब्जॉर्ब एंड इवॉल्ड वेन करंट फ्लोज फ्रॉम हायर पोटेंशियल टू लोअर पोटेंशियल ठीक है सेम क्लियर जी सो दिस इज द कॉज ऑफ द थॉम्सन अफेक्ट ठीक है जी क्लियर नाउ अबाउट द higher to lower lower to higher if you want to write i will write from higher potential to lower lower to higher here is heat evolved here is heat absorbed ठीक है कोल्ड टू हॉट ठीक है इन द केस ऑफ कॉपर ठीक है लाइक दिस नेक्स्ट डिपेंड अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ द कंडक्टर विच वी आर यूजिंग ठीक है देन अबाउट द पेल्टियर कॉफिशन दैट इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट पेल्टियर कॉफिशन एंड थॉमसन कॉफिशन वट आर दीज सो पेल्टियर कॉफिशन इट इज डिफाइंड एज द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट इवॉल्ड और एब्जॉर्ब अमाउंट ऑफ हीट इवॉल्ड और एब्जॉर्ब पर यूनिट चार्ज फ्लोइंग अक्रॉस द जंक्शन मीन्स यू कैन से इफ हीट एब्जॉर्ब और इवॉल्ड दैट इज क्यू दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन करंट आई क्लियर एंड दिस ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स अपॉन टाइम दिस इज यू कैन से करंट this is you can say time so it depends upon current and time uh, when we multiply these this become q is equal to it or constant of proportionality that will be pi pi it so from this pi is equal to q over it theek hai i you can write q by i you can write uh, q by t चार्ज पर जो ना टाइम इन टू टाइम टाइम गोज इज टाइम क्यू इज द हीट एंड स्मॉल क्यू इज द चार्ज सो यूनिट्स यू कैन से दैट दिस इज इन जाउल्स जाउल्स पर कुल ठीक है जे बाय सी सो दीज आर द यूनिट्स एंड दिस पाई इज कॉल्ड द कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी पाई एंड दिस कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी इज कॉल्ड पेल्टियर कॉफिशियंट इज कॉल्ड पेल्टियर कॉफिशियंट सो न्यूमेरिकल्स आ जाते हैं पेल्टियर कॉफिशियंट ठीक है सो पेल्टियर कॉफिशियंट इज 
द हीट इवॉल्ड और एब्सॉर्ब एट द जंक्शन पर यूनिट चार्ज और ऑल्सो यू कैन से पर यूनिट करंट पर यूनिट टाइम क्लियर जी क्लियर नेक्स्ट अबाउट द थॉमसन कॉफिशियंट थॉमसन कॉफिशियंट इट इज हीट इवॉल्ड और एब्सॉर्ब अलोंग द लेंथ बिकॉज हेयर वी आर यूजिंग कंडक्टर अलोंग द लेंथ ऑफ द कंडक्टर पर यूनिट करंट पर यूनिट टाइम वेन एंड ऑफ द कंडक्टर आर मेनटेन्ड एट यूनिट टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज हेयर सॉरी टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस इज हेयर सो हेयर वी राइट Q is directly proportional to heat evolved or absorbed is directly proportional to I. Q is also directly proportional to T, and Q is also directly proportional to temperature difference. That is dT. This is temperature difference. ठीक है जी. And when we uh, join these. Q is directly proportional to I T D T, and Q is equal to constant of proportionality is sigma, uh, sigma I T D T. This implies uh, sigma is equal to Q over I T D T. Clear, sir? And similarly, same you can put here Q by uh, small Q by T into T. Into dt and cancel. This is also Q by Q dt. You can also say amount of heat evolved per unit uh, charge per unit temperature difference. ठीक है जी and units are joule per coulomb. ठीक है and per uh, kelvin. ठीक है जी joule per coulomb per kelvin. Also joule per ampere per second or joule per जे तो देखिए per एम्पियर यस पर सेकेंड पर कैलविन ठीक है जी यस जाउल एम्पियर माइनस वन सेकेंड माइनस वन कैलविन माइनस वन सो दीज आर द यूनिट्स ऑफ थॉम्सन कॉफिशेंट दैट इज सिग्मा ठीक है जी सो थॉम्सन कॉफिशेंट इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड इट कैन बी पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव और इवन जीरो Uh, positive for metals like copper, uh, then uh, copper, silver, antimony. Okay, and uh, it is negative for bismuth, iron, cobalt. Negative for that metals. Okay, ji. And for lead, it is zero. It is zero. So I explain here Thomson coefficient. Clear, ji. So this is about the Thomson coefficient and Petlier. coffee so thank you very much so that's why at the end we can say that seebeck effect is a resultant of peltier effect and thomson effect thank you